What's up guys, Fuad here, back on Viper Sport with another video back in the Bazilding. Okay, today's video is a very special video. You know, we heard about the Ballon d'Or being cancelled, absolutely peak times. We're all heartbroken. A lot of our favourite players didn't get the awards that they wanted and they deserved to get. But I thought, you know what? Being the most influential footballing platform on social media, I think it was time for me to step up and announce the Viper Sport X Creators Award. That's right. What I've done is I've got some of the best creators on the TikTok app and we are announcing six different categories and awarding who we think wins that award. So I've given the five TikTokers that I'm about to sell you a category each and they picked the award in that category. Let me run down the categories for you. We have obviously got the player of the season. We've got the most improved player of the season. We've got the team, so the club of the season. We've got the manager of the season. We've got the league of the season and we've got the young player of the season i'll be introducing each creator before their clip comes in but let's get straight into it the first award we're going to be talking about is the most improved player presented to you by simply mason on tiktok go and follow him he has plenty of quality footballing content one of his biggest pieces of content on his platform was the over the years series all right mason take it away morning everybody my name is mason better known as simply mason over on tiktok and today i'm going to be announcing the most improved player of the season for me, it has to be Chris Smalling. He looked to leave Manchester United to get more consistent playing time, and he has found that with Roma. His great aggressive and defensive playing style looks perfect for the Serie A, and he's looked like a great fit for the system that they run over in Roma. Now, from going from a player that wasn't even really starting for Manchester United to becoming one of the better Serie A defenders has been a great turnaround for Smalling. So congratulations to him for having a great, great season. Well, this category was actually going to be hard when I thought of it. But when I saw Mason's video, I thought it makes a lot of sense. I really didn't think about Smalling, but he has definitely improved when he went over to Roma. Obviously, towards the end period at Manchester United, he started struggling. We know how much of a good player he was, but what, what was going to happen next? Was, it th was that it? Was that the downfall of Chris Smalling? Roma came in, snapped him up on loan and really he has looked good for Roma and I can completely agree with Mason to give this award to Chris Smalling. Let's move on to the next one, the best young player of the season and this is brought to you by Esme Heard. Now Esme does some really good and funny content on her page. Esme, take it away. My name is Esme Heard, and I was asked by Viper Sport to share my pick for best young player of the season. There was a lot of great talents this season. Shouts out Mason Greenwood, Phil Foden, Kai Havertz. They were all super, super fun to watch but for me this one came down to between Jaden Sancho and Erling Haaland. This was a really tough pick, but in the end, I am going to go with Sancho. Haaland had an incredible season and scored almost as many goals as Sancho in nearly half the appearances, which is insane. But I am going to go with Sancho just because I think he's not only a key goal scorer, but has also been key in assisting and creating opportunities all season. Sancho did have a bit of a lull after the restart, but he did pick it up after Haaland's injury and was able to create those opportunities and score those goals. And I think that really showed just how important he was to that Dortmund side. I also just really admire Sancho personally for his leadership abilities and his maturity. He's also just one of my favorite players to watch. And so, yeah, that's the reason for my... Now, this is one I completely agree with Esme. I think you have to pick Sancho at 20 years of age. He's gone on to be one of the best players in Europe and really someone who has got the headlines continuously week in, week out about a transfer here, a transfer there. Big clubs are after him and you know I think he really was a trendsetter almost but really the first young player to leave the English leagues and go over to a, 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 a different league and really make noise there because we know that English players here in the UK it's really tough for him to break through the academies clubs like Man City he was playing for bring in international players who are amazing but then cut the chances off for the youngsters to come through so I think Sancho's really set that trend gone over to Dortmund done absolute bits there and now the whole of Europe pretty much is after him all right let's move on to the next award and this one is League of of the season brought to you by Evangeline. Now she has awesome content. She's one of the OGs on this app. She was one of the few people I watched before I even started my Viper Sport TikTok and she does some really good content. All right, Evangeline, take it away. Guys, it's Evangeline, also known as Evangeline.ji on TikTok. And I'm announcing Viper Sports X Creators Award. My category was the best league this season. I know a lot of you probably know I'm a huge Barca fan, but I'm not even gonna be biased, but I do think La Liga was the best league this season. A lot of people are gonna argue that Premier League, Bundesliga, even Serie A were better or even other leagues, 
but I do think La Liga was very entertaining this season. There's a lot of shocks like Asasuna versus Barca or Atletico versus Celta 1-1, crazy. And obviously the rivalry between Barca and Real Madrid, iconic rivalry, um, was a race. Kind of went downhill for Barca after they versus Celta. Great pick, La Liga was definitely a great league as well, one of the top leagues in Europe. I think this category could go anywhere because it kind of depends on what kind of football you like watching. Like she said, a lot of people will argue the Premier League was better, a lot of people will argue the Bundesliga was better, but La Liga was definitely good. So a solid pick, La Liga is your league of the season. Now we move on to the team of the season. So this is actually the club of the season, not just like we're not picking a team. It's which club has been the best club this season. And to present this to you is Nuno the man. Noah, he posts some great content too. His series, Mood Killers, absolutely took off. And it's been very enjoyable to watch. All right, Noah, take it away. Boy Noah, aka Nuno the man. And I'm here to present the team of the year. Thanks to my boy Viper Sport for allowing me to present such a prestigious award. Can I just say and uh for me um there's only one team in it there have been many teams that have done well some teams that have even exceeded our expectations but for me it has to be Bayern Munich it just has to be uh, being a Chelsea fan they completely annihilated us at the bridge but even you know away from the Champions League and the Bundesliga you know even though they've been dominant for the past how many years they've still been dominant this season they've had some exceptional players uh Lewandowski got robbed off the Ballon d'Or Fonzie Davis is just he's just sick even Thomas Muller is aging like a fine wine he's looking he's not looking a day over 24 you know what I mean the whole team that they've got there the whole system it's been brilliant to watch Bayern Munich and I think that you know they will continue that dominance and I think they're favorites to win the Champions League I really do so for me Bayern Munich is my team of the season. Well, it definitely is a prestigious award. Let's just let's just make that clear. Um, but again, a solid pick. Bayern Munich have been on fire this season. And again, like him, a Chelsea fan, we saw it, we experienced it firsthand. They've got a brilliant team, a brilliant manager, and they've just been absolutely fantastic throughout the whole season. They are my favourite picks to win the Champions League alongside with Man City. And also, like you mentioned, they've won another league title. So congrats, Bayern Munich. You are the team of the season. Now let's move on to the manager of the season brought to you by my boy Zane. Zane's a very unique creator on the football TikTok side of things. He does football content outside on his lawn with the net up and everything and makes different scenarios. It's really cool, really entertaining. All right, Zane, take it away. You know, I asked my good friend Viper Sport to nominate my manager of the year for this season. I was going back and forth a lot. I was leaning towards Zinedine Zidane at one point. Obviously, he won the Liga and he's in the quarterfinals for the Champions League. But as hard as it is to say, as you can see, I'm a Man United fan. But I have gone with Jurgen Klopp. The reason I've chosen Jurgen Klopp is the way he's transformed Liverpool has been insane. Liverpool went from an average club they're starting to lose hope and since he's come he's transformed the club completely this season they finally won their Premier League after 30 years and not only did they just win it they destroyed the league uh, they're 18 points clear which is insane especially in the Premier League which is such a tight league and I saw a crazy fact that third place Man United are closer to the relegation than they are to Liverpool in first place I think that just proves and shows how far he's come as a manager and how far he's taken this club and I think it's only fair as hard as it is to say that I nominate Jurgen Klopp as my manager of there's no argument with his pick. Jurgen Klopp has been definitely the manager of the season. This man has completely changed the Liverpool team. He came in, he struggled. I think that's why he really deserves this, the way he turned the club around. The struggles he had to go through in terms of even when he did his best, Man City were just a little bit better. And we saw how Liverpool dominated this season and kind of last with the Champions League. But this season, obviously in the Premier League, they've run away with it. 99 points. So hats off to Jurgen Klopp. You are the manager of the season. Season. All right, now the final category, the big one, brought to you by the one, the only myself uh, yes sir i will be picking the player of the season this is a very important pick as the ballon d'or the player of the season for the ballon d'or had been cancelled which means it is in my hands to pick the player of the season a lot of fans have been waiting for this moment it's going to be a very intense moment i might get a lot of hate for my pick i might get a lot of love for my pick but here we go who is the player of the season and why your 2019 2020 Viper Sport X Creators Award Player of the Season is... It is... Lee... Wandowski!
Lewandowski! Yes, sir. Okay, there's no way I couldn't give it to my man Lewandowski. You thought I was going to say Messi, didn't you? Uh, Lewandowski has been absolutely fantastic with his team winning Club of the Season award. It's not much of a surprise that Lewandowski has won this award. A lot of fans were upset when the Ballon d'Or got cancelled because they felt like he should have won the Ballon d'Or. Now, I've seen arguments on social media that why Lewandowski? He's in a crap league. It's professional football. There's still professional players and I can assure you a lot of those German teams will give a lot of the other teams a run for their money. Just because it's not the strongest league doesn't mean a player doesn't deserve it. They've, they, they've performed well. They deserve it. He's he scored 51 goals this season in all competitions for Bayern Munich. He scored 36, I think, in the league. And Bayern have scored 100 goals. So he's been a massive influence in that Bayern side. And the main thing here is Lewandowski has been on form year after year. He's been one of those strikers that really goes under the radar. Because he is playing in the German league, I think, you know, a lot of Europe don't really see him unless they see him in the Champions League. So it's kind of crappy because he's been so consistent throughout the year. You could argue he's the best, like, nine number nine striker in the world like in the last few years he's he is so good in fact this award kind of solidifies the fact that he is this season the best striker in the world there you go your 2019-20 player of the season is Robert Lewandowski congratulations Lewa you completely deserve it mate if you're watching this and you care but regardless this was fun hopefully more collabs to come with your favorite TikToker hopefully TikTok doesn't get banned but other than that thank you for tuning in make sure to follow everyone that I've just posted on this video make sure to follow us and subscribe to the channel for more content I'll catch you on the next one